If later on tonight I ask you to be my girlfriend What's going on guys? Man, this was a very interesting week to say the least and we all know that it was 4th of July weekend and it happened to fall on a Saturday. Now for me, when it comes to like these holidays, it's, it's really a great way for me to relax because most of the time when I meet up, uh, just kidding, or like you, would, you know, Bart and Joe, it's always usually about work. But when it comes to the, what the hell, come here, what are you doing? It's gonna leave? That's cool. Interrupt my video and then you're gonna go into your cage and fall asleep. Yeah, fuck you. But yeah, when we meet up, it's usually about work, and um, there's a very few times that we actually get to unwind and relax with friends. It has nothing to do with growing our business, our comedy channels, and just kidding, news this, David so comedy that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've never been so uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> so 4th of July for us is one of those reasons for us to get together and just cook our asses off. Now if you guys don't know this about me, uh, one of my favorite things to do on Earth is cook. Now one of the dishes that I'm known for that I bring to every single potluck is my gumbo. Today, we're gonna be cooking us some gumbo. And we have ourselves ingredients for gumbo. You know what I'm saying? She know what I'm saying. Now I know what you're thinking, why is the Asian or even Korean American even thinking about making gumbo for a potluck? It's because it's none of your fucking business. And for me, I like gumbo so much that I've actually developed my own recipe. And I got this whole secret, like, secret herbs and spice thing going on that I don't want to share with people, even though it's pretty common. <laughs> that's right, it's the powder that's gonna make the chowder. The seasoning that's gonna give you a boner. <laughs> and you know why? It's because you guys know that every single home chef that's really dope always has a recipe that they don't want to share. I just want somebody to ask me what the recipe is so I can say to them, if I told you, I have to fucking kill you. Of course, kitchens are Hey, you got some Why are you talking water? shit? Boy, it's, a friendly, hey. it's a friendly barbecue. Uh, uh, no. Finish the line. Huh? You can't always have it your way, okay? Yeah, that's what up. <laughs> but if you guys have never made gumbo before in your life, just know that one of the most important building blocks of flavor for a gumbo is the roux. So as they say in the South, if you fuck up on the roux, it might as well be poo. That's, I just made that up on the spot. <laughs> when you cook your roux, you have to do it at a fairly low heat so you don't burn it, but my God, for 45 minutes, I stirred that shit like I was Cinderella. So instead, you get your brother to do it instead. Work away, boy. I hope your arm falls off. <laughs> then of course you have to add your vegetables, which is of course the holy trinity, which consists of celery, onions, and of course, peppers. Now for me, I like to use uh, uh, red peppers and green peppers, but you know, you guys can use whatever you want. I've seen some people use uh, pasilla peppers, you know, teach their own. Now for me, when I cook, I don't really cook by tradition, even though that's where I start off. I kind of cook to my flavor palette. So in my gumbo, I actually don't use okra. And yes, I understand that the original reason why gumbo is called gumbo is because it's derived from okra. Well, fuck you, I don't like it. And of course, as you begin to cook, it'll start to change color. So first off, when it starts for a few minutes, it'll look like a wet, sandy brown color. Then it'll go into like a deep milk chocolate. Then after that, it'll start getting to a brick red, which is the color that I'm looking for. Other people typically, yes, they go into a darker color roux, but for me, I don't got time for that shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. But once the roux is done, I add the holy trinity in there with the herbs and spices and I kind of let it bloom in that hot oil root mixture. Yes, you let your spices bloom and it'll taste that much better. Then after that, you just add your stock. A delicious stock that I've made myself or bought by Swanson, whatever, same thing. Anybody got time to always make stock? I got time for that shit, I'm a busy man. Ain't fee, I'm coming after you, baby. <laughs> But basically, if you have a large quantity and you let that stew for about three to four hours, it should relatively look like this. Now, one of the biggest reasons why I love cooking is based on the fact that I like sharing food with people. For me, I, 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 yeah, I can cook for myself, but when you make a dish and other people eat it and they thoroughly enjoy it, their joy becomes your joy. I think that's the main reason why most people like cooking in the first place. It's not because you want to sit there and make yourself the most amazing dish. It's because you like sharing the experience that you have with the food. Mm -hmm. Do you understand why this is so delicious? Why? Casey made it with love. Yes! Casey knows what it's like. I told you. Take a bite. Take a bite, bro. Take a bite. It tastes like shit now because of the way you're talking. You would think that the fatter you are, the more you don't want to share, but that's not true at all. The fatter you are, you just gotta make more so you can't share it. But that's the basics of how to make gumbo. You can go ahead and find your own ingredients and learn how to make it yourself. If you guys want to know my secret recipe, I'm going to have to kill you. Nope, that, that's right. just the Hennessy token, right. that's the ENG token, that's the Captain Morgan.
mortgage right. That's that written me Martin And girl I'm sorry <laughs> for carrying on But right. later on tonight I ask you to be my girlfriend No that that's just that Jack Daniels That's right. the Louis the 13th right. Now baby don't hurt me See I was just flirting <laughs> Believe me I don't usually right. do these things on purpose If later on tonight I